perfection. Chef's kiss. Alright, I don't usually do these type of videos because I don't think reaction videos serve any particular use. If you want to see my reaction to things, just go follow me on Twitter because if there's any news that's exciting or controversial, I'll usually fire up a tweet storm and then delete them two days later. But this is different. This is different. It goes without saying that I love Batman. I love the character of Batman, I have an unhealthy obsession with him, and I thought that the last big screen portrayal that we received for the character was an absolute disgrace, a complete bastardization of the character and everything he stands for, what he symbolizes and what he means to us. I think Ben Affleck was beyond mediocre in the role, he was so one-dimensional, Yes, I know he didn't have the best material to work with, the screenplays weren't good, Zack Snyder is not a competent storyteller whatsoever, but Affleck was not a good Batman, and watching him made me sad as a Batman fan. When Robert Pattinson was cast as the new Batman, I championed him so hard. I proclaimed the minute that he was cast that he would be the best live-action Batman we have ever seen. We got a screen test from Matt Reeves on Twitter of Robert Pattinson in his bat suit, and it was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I cannot describe the feeling that I got watching a 50-second screen test of Robert Pattinson in his bat suit. He is gonna knock it out of the park. He picture perfect. The jawline, the chin, the eyes, and the bat suit itself. It's I love it. I love the work in progress look of it. I love that it looks like it's inspired by several different bat suits. It takes inspiration from the Arkham video games, Batman Noel, and Gotham by Gaslight, which is a really cool Elseworld story. The collar on the cape, the mask being stitched leather, most importantly, the bat symbol on his suit, likely being made of the gun that was used to murder his parents, the gun Joe Chill used. That, that is hardcore. But it's not hardcore in the Zack Snyder, ooh, isn't this dark sense. It's hardcore in the sense that Matt Reeves understands Batman. And that makes me so happy. To me, what that bat symbol actually says, what it is communicating to us, is a moment that happened a couple times in the comics. But what Batman said was... The piece of metal that broke my heart as a child is going to be the same piece of metal that protects my heart as a man. And when I saw the screen test and I saw Robert Pattinson in that bat suit and the way he presented his physicality, no matter how brief it was, his physicality, his presence in that suit was unbelievable. And to top it all off with Michael Giacchino's score, I, I had chills that the score is eerie and foreboding with an impending sense of justice. And it's just beautiful. It's worth it. Everything about it is perfect. And I cannot wait to see Robert Pattinson in this role and deliver exactly what I said he was going to do. He is going to be the best live-action Batman we have ever seen, and I cannot wait for it, because this is my Batman. This is the Batman that I have waited my entire life to see on the screen. Batman means something to a lot of people, and Affleck, to those people, it hurt us. But Pattinson... Just seeing that screen test, I know that his Batman and Matt Reeves' Batman film is going to be so, so special. And I cannot wait. And that is the reason that I made the video. Because this topic is important to me. And, and I think Pattinson, he is the best actor to ever hold the role of Bruce Wayne 
slash Batman, and that screen test let me know that he is absolutely going to deliver what I said he is, and that is the best live action big screen performance of Batman we have ever seen. I cannot express how excited I am for the Batman next summer. It might just be my most anticipated movie of all time. I know that is saying a lot, and yes, I realize it's a comic book movie, okay? I don't need to be told, oh, stop watching just cape shit. I don't just watch superhero movies. I enjoy them. I enjoy them a lot, especially when they're well made. But I watch real movies, according to the, uh, the film snobs. I like prestige movies as much as the next person. But the Batman, because of what he means to me, what he has done for me through his stories, the Batman is probably my most anticipated movie of all time. And I cannot wait to see what happens. So thank you for indulging this little fanboy rant. Robert Pattinson is going to be amazing. Matt Reeves feels like the perfect guy to adapt the Batman mythology. The cast is amazing. It's amazing. Zoe Kravitz, Jeffrey Wright, Paul Dano, Colin freaking Farrell, John Turturro, indie legend John Turturro. I... I still can't believe that this movie is is shaping up to be the way that it is. It's it's gonna be so good. Greg Frazier, the cinematographer, Michael Giacchino doing the score. I just I cannot wait. It's gonna be so special. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Okay. Thank you for watching. May your heart be your guiding key, and hopefully we get some better movies into theaters soon, so I will be able to get some more reviews out. Goodbye.